Hey folks, absolute stunner on the water this morning. We're out in Sean's rig. Um, plan for the day. Work this edge into this gutter and uh, we've got a nice little weed bank and basically you just roll plastics right down the edge. Um, not really after a particular species, but our know, flathead and brim are always a goer, so. Yeah, yep. edge bite, bit of edge bite fishing along That's a weed it. edge up into a big drain early morning. So we'll probably throw a variety of plastics, three inch minnows, two and a half inch slim swims. And I like Sean said, mixed bag of species, brim, flatties, all sorts of bits and pieces. So buckle up, let's get into them. On that uh, midnight oil and purple, purple demon heads. Yeah, that's a good start, eh? What's wrong with that? I didn't talk to that fellow thing about putting my camera on. He did. Ah. <laughs> that was a beautiful take. Yeah. Oh, that was solid. Probably a flat fish. It's got some weight, eh? That was an excellent take. Just hop, hop, and as it paused, as it was dropping, just absolutely drilled it. Looking solid. It's growing. Oh, it's growing. Oh, oh that's a yeah. good fish. Yeah. Don't bite me off, buddy. Fish? Epic flat fish. Metery. Metery. It's a solid fish. Oh, it's a tank of a flatty. Oh, flatty. Don't bite me off, dude. I just want a photo and put you back in the water. Don't bite me off. Swamp monster. <laughs> what was on, what colour was that, Justin? That's on the three inch minnows in purple death, which I absolutely love. And whoa. He's very net shot. Oh, he's gonna bite me off. Uh, you got this. You got this. <laughs> but it's on a chartreuse big eyes, which is an awesome jig head. Hey, they love the big flatfish, love the, that chartreuse jig head. Hey, <laughs> tank, what a beast! Tank, there you go, folks. Yeah. Absolute crocodile. Oh, settle down, buddy. Scoff that. Yeah, he wanted that. Oh, cracker. Oh, he's. 69 solid. What a fish. Oh, look at that. That's if I get the camera angle right, it's 70. <laughs> <laughs> 69 centimeter lizard. I think we need um, a couple of quick photos. Oh, there we go. Yeah. There it is. Geez, it's caught some flathead that presentation now. Yeah. Oh. oh, what a fish. What a ripper. Big what a head on that thing. What an animal. Do you need flash or she's all good? No, I've got the moon in the background. It looks sick. Nice. Send it. Here we go, folks. What I reckon is we'll need to get on that. She's on her way.
all the all the big flathead, all the bigger flathead that I've got in the last year, I reckon. Prior to that, it was all slimmies, but the last year, this purple death three inch minnows on a chartreuse big eyes, it's just big fish love it, eh? Oh yeah. <laughs> He followed that for a fair way, that fella. He's a good, good eater, that one. He's a good one for you guys for dinner. Yeah. Pole him in. <laughs> Bit of pole it in mayhem. Don't knock your Pepsi Max over. I don't think Bob Foot actually turned that on. What a dude. So that whole time, that hasn't actually been running. <laughs> there you go. So we had that big girl nice and early. That one there is good eating size for Sean and the girls. So we'll, that one we will put in the box. Yeah, that's a good eater. Love and that chartreuse big eyes. It's early morning light. It pops that jig head, that's for sure. So that's that chartreuse with a red eye and the big eyes. That's that purple death minnows. It's a, such a good colour. So pretty much you're made to order factory 45 centimetre job, which is perfect eating size. So basically I was just prospecting then. So we're, we're working a big drain and we're working the banks each side of a big drain. But when you're fishing those big drains, it's, it's worth throwing casts all around the boat, fish the center of the drain and everything. Cause you know, it's not that big an area. So there's gonna be fish holding right through here. All right, here we go. Done, mate. He came up and drilled that. He drilled it right at the boat, hey? Yeah, yeah. Drilled it right at the boat. So that's that weapon. Chartreuse red eyes, three eight ounce three oh. So I'm fishing quite heavy with a three inch, and I'm covering ground fairly quickly. But you can see here, Sean's working this edge. So basically, we're working either side of this drain, working that edge, this but edge. also prospecting around because there could be fish holding anywhere in here. This edge is quite shallow, a long way out. Yep. So I'm just rolling slimy across the top. Yep. And then trying to cover that ground that you're not covering. Yep, that's a good point too, because yeah, that other side is quite a steep edge drops yep. off. Yep. And like you say here, the weed tapers out a long way. So it may look like we're a long way from the edge, but if you get in too close here, you're going to be weeded up nonstop. I'm just looking for those fish that are happy to push, push up in the shallow. Buckle up. Couple of flatties early, and now we're out fishing a bit of structure, mangrove edges, rock bars, you know, just really rugged terrain, but it's it's still edge bite fishing. We're casting to the edge of the structure, or the edge of the mangroves, the edge of the rock bar, and we're just getting a few brim, and that sort of thing. Good fun, especially on light gear. Some of the structure is absolutely brutal, so you you can expect to lose a, a jig head or two, do a leader or two, but it, it's exciting fishing once you hook the things, getting them out. We're just running quarter ounce, one o, demons jig heads, two and a half inch slim swims, and just twitching them and rolling them off the edge. So the key thing a lot of the time is, is more about where you get your cast. So you get your cast right onto that pressure point or into that eddy, right close to that structure and then buckle up. Yeah. yeah. Brembo? Yeah. Brembo with the current behind it. Yeah. Need the net? Are you good? Uh, no, it should be all good. Cheers. Get it just in case. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's solid. What's that? Uh, Brembo bottle. Jagged? <laughs> no, in the gob. No credit for jagging them in the bum. So a nice edge bite on some mangroves. And a solid brim. Cheers, mate. Right. Jizzy clunk that. Yeah, you wanted it, eh? Solid take. Not a monster, but good fun size brim. They feel a lot bigger with this current smashing on the front of the um, Yeah, that's it. Really running through here. Current ripping through them. They're taking aggressively too. Yeah. Very good. Got all the 
making Yeah. There you go. Oh, a <laughs> yeah, you need a Cool, mate. Just a pikey. Yeah. <clears throat> so we're going for the next bag. Solid pike. <laughs> there you go. If you're looking for a fish to smoke, that's the bike. Straight in the smoke, a beautiful. Send him back. Amongst the bait that just ate it straight away. Given it love. Rimbo? I'm going to say grass. Isn't that where you're right? Um, sure. Solid Brimbo. Oh, he just fell off. <laughs> he was a good sized brim, though. What are those fins in there? Jagged a mullet. Oh, I don't know, it's got you up there, but Oh, come out of there. I got a Tommy playing with mine. I don't know, whatever you, whatever you got, man, it's loving you. Need me to chase it? Up and oh, done over. It's got a bit of rough water there. Yeah. Yep. Hey. That was a good little take. I felt him eat his way onto it there. Yeah. Another brimbo. They're cranky. Yeah. I guess the uh, current gives him a bit more power. Yeah, yeah, that's it. He's definitely taking advantage of that current. Another solid little brimbo. Just working that edge. Quarter ounce 1 0. Demons. 2.5 inch slim swims. Oh, he's a nice one. Oh, solid. Big brim. He is a clunker. If that was a tournament day, you'd be... Yeah, he's stoked. See him come over the boat, didn't you? And him. <laughs> yeah, he's a solid brimbo, eh? Hey? Yeah. Beautiful. Um, you on the grubs? Nah. On the slimmy? Midnight. Midnight to a half. So I took a bit of a leaf out of what was working. And, uh, yeah. He's yeah, a, he's a good fish. Yeah, 34. 34. 34. So there you go, quick morning session on the water. Uh, we did our drain bite. Yep. And uh, a couple of floodies out of the drain, a few other rattles and that sort of thing. And then change of scenery, ducked up to some mangrove edges to fish some mangrove edges and rock and whacked a few brim, mate. You got that cracker brim. Was, yeah. You know, pretty good little session and then home in time for brekkie. Pretty much. You haven't even finished your coffee. <laughs> nah, the beauty of having a Yeti cup stays nice and hot. <laughs> 
So there you go, bit of fun on the water. Stay tuned for more adventures. Get out there, get stuck in a few yourselves. Don't forget, get those 3830 uh, big eyes going. Throw on a three inch minnows and have a go at those deeper edges, those deeper drop offs, that edge bite. And then you can't go wrong with a slim swims on a quarter one up on the flats, yeah. mate. Eh? Even if you give it a pause, just allow it to hit the bottom every now and then. Yep. You know, just a bit, take a bit more patience, a bit more time. Yeah. If you're not getting a bite, slow it down, yeah. slow it down. Yep. All the best. Get out there, we'll see you out there. Fish on.